In this first Chapter 2 video, we're going to go over dash wedge notation. Dash wedge notation is used to visualize on paper what's going on with the molecule in 3D. So we use this wedged line here to show a bond that's sticking out towards you. This is implying that the hydrogen is closer towards you than the carbon. The dashed or hashed line is pointed away from you. You can think of it as going into the plane of the computer here. And again, the hydrogen is furthest away from you. This bond here is considered to be a wedge or wedged line and implies that it's sticking out. And this dashed or hashed line is considered to be pointed away from you. Anything that's drawn as a line is meant to be in the plane of the paper. The 3D model down here is trying to show you the wedged line here, the hydrogen sticking out, and the hash line back here sticking back. The other two hydrogens are in the plane of the paper, or in this case, the computer screen. In this particular view, you can see the hash lines going back, corresponding to the hydrogens going back, and these hydrogens in front sticking out, corresponding to these hydrogens sticking out. If you're having a hard time visualizing this, I recommend a model kit. If you don't have a physical version of a model kit, this is a nice online one that you can use. Here we have methane, and you can see the hydrogen sticking out at you in front, this one sticking out at you in back, and if you wanted to, you can rotate this around and see what's going on with the whole model. Now I've rotated a little bit so these two hydrogens are in front, and these two hydrogens are in back. Let's look at a quick example. This first carbon here is right there. Here's the second carbon, carbon 3 and carbon 4. You can see that in the picture, the OH is sticking out, and this is the oxygen here in red, so you can see that this is sticking out towards you. The hydrogen is not explicitly drawn in, but you can tell that it's sticking back, so it's filling in that other position. If you want to, you can draw it in and you would draw that as a hashed line on either this side, or you could draw it on the other side like this. As long as those hash and wedge lines are together, that's implying that the hydrogen is in the back and the OH is in the front. What you absolutely cannot do is draw a hashed line over here on the opposite side of the OH. That's very bad. We don't want to do that. If you're having a hard time understanding why that's not allowed, make sure that you build a model of that and convince yourself that that does not work. If alternatively, I had the OH going back, then that means that the hydrogen that's not drawn in would be sticking out in front. And again, make sure that you're drawing those hash and those wedge lines right next to each other. Another tip when you're doing these problems in sapling, make sure you draw out the hydrogens explicitly or it will have a hard time reading your drawing. Although notice that in a lot of our examples that we're using, you don't necessarily have to draw out the hydrogens explicitly. You just need to do so in sapling. We're going to do a lot more with dash wedge notation, so you'll get a lot of practice with this concept.